Hey everybody, welcome to my plan with me for the week of February 12th through the 18th. I'm using this 90s grunge SPC kit, which I'm super excited to finally be using um, since I was born in the 90s and had almost everything in this. I thought it was perfect to use for my birthday month. So um, I'm just like obsessed with that color so I did not color block or did not decide to color block because I wanted to bring more of that in uh, and then there are some labels missing because I have started pulling stickers for like the day by day already but uh, this is just all so cute <laughs> then I have a bundle from Kristen's planner it's the groovy bundle and I just thought this went really perfectly. This is in pink hollow. Um, currently she is kind of redoing everything on her shop. So this is not up, but hopefully she'll have something like it again in the future. And this font is just adorable. And then I'm also using these hunter green solids to go under it. So I cannot wait to see how this turns out and I will go ahead and get into the base. Okay, getting into the sidebar, I'm marking the month. I didn't have room for deco this week, so I used that really big February script from a fabled court sampler that I got. And marking that it is my friend Katie's birthday. So I've got that Bear With The Balloons and custom script from Carly Plans which I do PR for Carly Plans. So if you use Laurel 15, you'll get a discount in this freebie and Laurel in the notes during sales. It will come in a random font, but this one is in Font One Duo. And then uh, the next thing I am marking is that it was Valentine's Day week, which I don't normally really celebrate Valentine's Day, but I decided to this year with my husband, so I'll kind of talk more about that later. But the script is from Kristen's Planner, and then the icon is from Carly Plans. I just think that is so cute. 
And the last thing for the sidebar I'm marking is that I did have a concert this week. So I've got this Oops Another Concert script and then that icon and those are both from Carly Plans. Monday, the first thing I marked was, again, that it was my friend Katie's birthday. So um, it kind of bothers me I use the same color label for this, but that's all right. And then I did some filming this day. I did film a base because I had kind of lost my voice from the Super Bowl. So I couldn't really do like a plan with me day by day type of thing at that point. Uh, and then I did watch more of the show Quarterback. I think I finished it. Yeah, I did finish it this day. It wasn't in the morning, but it was later in the day that I finished watching it. And then I was planning like while I was watching Quarterback. So kind of a like chill but productive morning. So, uh, cause bases take me forever. Like if you film, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one, but it'll take me like sometimes 45 minutes to put the base down. And I don't know why it takes so long, but I also had no clue how long it took until I started filming myself. So yeah, I don't know if you film and it takes you a really long time. Let me know because I'm curious if like I'm the only one if I'm just like slow. <laughs> but these stickers um, that I think is from Paper Candy Art from like a sampler. And then uh, that script is from Leonard Designs. This is from Carly Plans, Andy Designs Co., Mick Plans. I made that script and any scripts that look like that, like on matte paper in that font, I did make. Then um, for planning time, the script and icon are both from Mick Plans. Side note, I don't remember, did Cherry Coke cans actually used to be purple because they need to bring that back if so. <laughs> um, but the next thing I did this day, or I guess the next thing I marked to this day was just that I was in pain. Um, my sciatic nerve was bothering me. My ankle was hurting. And then I just kind of like had body aches lightly all over the rest of my body. Um, but those other two things were like the worst parts. So... Um, then we did get McDonald's for dinner this evening, um, while we watched Gilmore Girls while we were eating that, and then I kind of just, like, played Emoji Blitz the rest of the night. Um, I was watching Gilmore Girls by myself, because since we've both seen it all before, um, my husband doesn't really care if I, like, get ahead of him or anything. So... Um, the reason I marked Momoji Blitz, because I don't always mark it, was because I got um, Ruby Mushu, which if you don't play it will mean nothing to you, but um, he looks really cool. So <laughs> I was like scrambling to finish an event so that I could get him without paying for it because I don't really like to do that microtransactions are annoying and I mean I'm not gonna say I've not paid for anything in that game but I really try to avoid it <laughs> I can't believe I ripped that so for being in pain that cat is from fox and cactus and the script is from carly plans as well as that mcdonald's bag and then the script is from the foil bundle. This Rory is from Papershire, which perfectly covers up where I messed up the box. So that worked out. And then the script is just from a shop that's not open anymore. This Mushu is from Once More With Love. And the Emoji Blitz script is from Carly Plans. Tuesday, I was really exhausted and in a lot of pain again. Um, I was just really struggling to get out of bed. And 
I didn't really understand why, um, but when I get to Wednesday, it kind of started making sense. Um, so I, I like did some physical therapy exercises, but I didn't mark that. Uh, then I did some filming. I filmed a plan with me this day because my voice had come back. And then I watched Grey's Anatomy while I was doing like more planning. And then I watched uh, Vanderpump Rules and watch what happens live. So I did remember to watch it this day. Um, <laughs> I didn't like, as you can kind of tell, I didn't really do a lot until the evening because that airs at night. But I mean, like I said, it was just really hard to get out of bed. So I did the best I could. So the uh, entire day of script is from the foil bundle. And then that character is from Joy of Planning. The film script and icon are both from Carly Plans. The little doctor pig is from Mick Plans. And then the script is from Carly Plans. As well as that Sandoval sticker. And then the VPR script is from Mick Plans. I also was texting Christine during VPR because, um, I mean, it's just like, <laughs> it's fun to kind of like talk about what's happening while we're watching the show and it's exciting to like watch it live because then watch what happens live. I actually get to like vote on stuff and when I, I used to watch it on Peacock the next day and so like everything's already voted on you don't get to like have input so I enjoy both of those aspects of it and then I did do some more planning this evening I watched the tv show ghosts I believe this is the night I started watching it because I I think I mentioned this in my previous plan with me, but I had gotten to season seven in Gilmore Girls and I just kind of like lost the desire to watch it <laughs> because that season, in my opinion, is the worst. And Grey's is like heavy to watch all the time. So Ghosts is weird. I, I like it, but I don't love it. But I did... Like, I did basically binge it all this week, so I guess, I guess I do like it a decent amount. <laughs> um, and then I played Super Mario Bros. Wonder again with my husband this evening, so that was really fun. Um, for texting Christine, the character is from Bidu and Co, and the script is from Mick Plans. And then the uh, planner is from Carly Plans, as well as that with my love script I'm putting down right now. And the bat, that's from Kristen's planner. And then this is from Murdoch Talks. So Wednesday is, I'm probably going to get emotional. Um, Wednesday was the 10 year anniversary of my dad's death. Um, he did die of leukemia, um, and it's been really hard to kind of try and push past that and do any kind of celebration for Valentine's Day, so I really wanted to last year, but my husband didn't, like, realize that I was serious, so, um, he, this year he, like, got me a card and got me flowers. But because it has been such a hard day for me and because it was 10 years, which just feels like a crazy milestone um, when I think about all the things that have happened since then, um, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have a good day I we weren't like going on a date this night but I was like I'm gonna have a good day I'm gonna make a conscious effort to do things that make me happy and so one thing that I did for that was watch the Kansas City Chiefs uh Super Bowl celebration parade 
and I had so much fun. It was really great. Um, my dad loved sports. He was actually like a PE major in college. So um, I, I really wasn't into sports except for kind of baseball when he was alive. But um, as I like lived in Kansas City and have gotten into football, it kind of just feels like another connection to him. So it felt right and it was very, it was a very good time. Um, until, as I'm sure you heard, there was a shooting at the parade. And um, I had, I had thought about going to the parade, but it was just such a long drive. I decided not to because I live five hours away now. Um, and I just, it just hit me really hard. Um, it was already a hard day and I just truly feel like there's nowhere safe and I hate guns and I do not think that, I just think we need some, some changes because we have a shooting epidemic in this country and that's not okay. Um, so it was just a really hard day and I want to get through this without crying, but I also don't want to cut myself off. So I'm just going to be a little stuffy sounding. Um, but it just, it felt so personal because Kansas City still feels like a home to me even though I don't live there and I mean I lived there for seven years and it was really the first place that I lived away from my family ever um like when I got married six months later we moved to Kansas City so I just did a lot of growing up there and and I love the city so um it hurt and on what was supposed to be such a joyful day for so many people. So everyone that I knew, including friends of friends that were there at the parade were safe. Um, but unfortunately, not everyone at the parade was safe and it just broke my heart. So um, I kind of had a breakdown this night which I suppose is not that surprising, but um, I was just in my recliner like sobbing and it, my anxiety got so bad that I literally could not physically move. Like I was completely frozen, um, which I that doesn't happen to me very often. So, I mean, I mean, obviously, that is an extremely stressful, icky situation to be in when you cannot move your body. Um, but I just, I couldn't do the things that I needed to do to, like, cope. So, um, I had to have my husband, like, put on a record and just so I could, like, listen to music and kind of deal with my feelings and then kind of get my mind off of them. But um, I just, I really miss my dad and this was just a really hard day to have something so bad happen as well. So my original plan was kind of to Talk about my dad some in this video because I have so many memories but given the way that day went I just really don't think I can but I might during his birthday week in June so um, moving on to the next day uh, Thursday I did have plans with Sarah which was a really good thing because we both really needed it um, to have plans and to do something 
like that was fun and that we were looking forward to. So uh, the first thing I did was I kind of got ready, which really just consisted of me like picking out clothes and stuff before I took a shower. And then um, Sarah came over. She got her like a little bit earlier than we needed to or wanted to leave, I guess, for St. Louis. So we just hung out at my house a little bit and then I did drive us to St. Louis. So for getting ready, I have that little like face mask there from Carly Plans and the Get Glam script. I didn't like Get Glam per se. I wasn't like putting on makeup before I showered, but um, that's just like the closest thing I have in the script. And then um, the little bath character is from Once More With Love and the script is from the foil bundle. And then for hanging out with Sarah, I've got that script from Mick Plans and the castle icon from Carly Plans. And then for driving to St. Louis, the character is from Once More With Love and the script is from Carly Plans. Next, we went to Brick River, which is one of our favorite places in St. Louis to go to. It is a cidery and they have gluten-free food, which I'm gluten-free, so it works really perfectly. It's super easy for me to eat there. Um, because anything that they don't have that's gluten-free, you can just make it gluten-free for free, <laughs> which there's usually an upcharge at any restaurant. So that was really cool. And then we did go over to our concert because we got there not a lot earlier than, it was probably a couple hours earlier than we needed to be there for the concert. But um, we did see... The Play My Teas and their opener was Pollyanna, which we really enjoyed them. Um, I had listened to like a couple of their songs before we went just because I was curious and I liked what I had heard and they just were like really good energy, uh, super fun, like punk, which is like different than the Play My Teas, but it was a really fun time. I love that type of music as well. So um, that was really fun to see. And then we did, of course, see the Play My Teas because that was the headliner. Normally we would buy merch before the show, but um, we waited until after this time because we just kind of like wanted to get our spot and and then the concert started. So um, I bought a t-shirt uh, and then Sarah and I both bought a vinyl for um, Pollyanna because uh, they didn't have like an album that we wanted on vinyl from the Play My Tees. But Pollyanna had this really cool like, green vinyl and their album name is Slime. So it was perfect. And we looked because we weren't sure if we wanted to wait in line. Um, so we looked online, but they don't sell it online. So we were like, okay, let's just buy them <laughs> or buy one. <laughs> so uh, we bought it and because the band was at the merch stand, they all signed it for us. So that was really cool. Um, and that's definitely something we wouldn't have gotten if we would bought it online. So that was a really neat experience. They're really nice. And, um, I mean, I'm just excited to like listen to them more. Then I drove us home from St. Louis and then we listened to some records and we're both just really achy. Like, our legs were extremely achy and tired, which is weird because at the We The Kings concert, we, like, danced our butts off and we didn't have the same thing. And at this concert, we weren't, like, dancing so much and our legs were just, like, exhausted. So, I don't know what it was. Um, and I forgot to say on Wednesday that... Uh, I think the reason that, like, my body had been so achy and I've been so tired is because I've just been kind of in a depressive time because of 
everything that that has happened in the past in February and it's just a hard month for me so um, moving back to Friday I did have therapy this day I actually like messaged my therapist on Wednesday and I was like hey you know, I, I know we had to cancel my session because I got food poisoning and I know I'm not supposed to see you for another three weeks, but can you fit me in? So um, we had a session this morning and then uh, Sarah and I just hung out because she had spent the night and then um, when she left, I did end up taking a nap because I was just so exhausted and I did have to get up slightly early for my therapy appointment because she didn't have like a late afternoon availability. So then I did some reading after that when I woke up. Um, I was just kind of like on my couch, cozied up, reading. Uh, from what I remember, I think it was a gloomy day to, it might have been raining, I'm not sure. Raining or snowing. Um, we've kind of had like teetered between the two. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, and then after that, I did listen to um, one of my Olivia Rodrigo records, so that was really good. I love her, and I am going to see her. That is my next concert I have coming up, is to see her Guts World Tour, so I'm really excited about that. Um... She's just so good. And I cannot believe she just turned 21. Like, it's wild to me. <laughs> but go her. I mean. For, like, making her dreams come true. So. I did not realize that I had nine things to stay. So I'm just trying to make sure I fit everything in. <laughs> It's still not going to work. Ugh, sorry, you have to watch me struggle. <laughs> I am really happy how the foil turned out on this kit. Uh, I feel like when I tried to take a picture of it, you couldn't really tell that the hunter was there, but I'm like in this video, I look, think you can tell better at like certain angles. So that's exciting because when I took a picture, it kind of looked black. Ugh, these labels might have to touch and I don't want that. <laughs> okay. Okay, this might not be completely even, but I did just go ahead and cut the label because they weren't fitting. <laughs> For therapy, that character is from Fox and Cactus, and the script is from Carly Plans. For uh, hanging out with Sarah, the uh, little characters are from Leonard Designs, and I did print and cut those myself, so... If there's any like mess ups, that's all on me. For taking a nap, the icon is from Carly Plans and the script is from Kristen's Planner. Whoops. They like folded the script. Yeah, I did. Okay. For reading, that character is from Mick Plans, which I love that that like Kindle sticker comes in a colorway now. I think it's really cool and it matched this perfectly. And then for listening to Olivia Rodrigo, the heart record is from Carly Plans and that wine glass is from Once More With Love. And then the script is also from Carly Plans. Um, I was drinking wine while I was listening to the record. So that's why there's a wine glass. Next, I marked uh, Ted Lasso, which my husband and I did start watching this day. I am loving it. We are already on season two and 
Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be really sad when it's over. So we might rewatch it afterwards. Or I might rewatch it if he doesn't want to. Because, yeah, it's, it's really good. And I did not realize that he, like, I guess it's the whole thing of the show. But I had no clue that he's, like, a former NFL coach in Kansas City. So I was like, um, what? Like, this is perfect, and the t-shirt he wears with, like, different Kansas City barbecue places mashed up on it. Um, I love it, and I want it, so super great. I am so annoyed that I didn't watch it sooner, <laughs> um, but both Domi and then also my friend Sarah was telling me to watch it, so I finally broke down and did. Um, and then my husband and I did play more Mario this evening. I did some planning after that. And then I did mark that it was my nephew Sammy's birthday. So I normally mark birthdays first thing in the day, but I forgot to pull stickers for it. And then like I had these kind of matching the boxes already. So I just went ahead and saved it for the end of the day. That's why I forgot I had nine things. So for the stickers, the soccer ball, uh, the toad, that uh, planner, and that script are from Carly Plans. Uh, this is from Mick Plans. That is from Leonard Designs. And the happy birthday is from the foil bundle. And then something I did mean to say on Thursday, um, I'm just all over the place in this plan with me, sorry. <laughs> I, I saw Plain White Tees back in 2008, which is like a really long time ago and I don't want to think about how long that was ago, but um, I did see them back then with like Dashboard Confessional, Panic at the Disco, and I think there might have been one other artist, but... I liked them, but I didn't, like, love their music other than Hey There Delilah, which, of course, most people know that song. Um, I just kind of, like, I thought it was fine and it was bad, but I, it wasn't something I needed to listen to all the time. But when we saw them this time, I remembered that after seeing them in 2008, I was like, man, they're really good live. Like... In previous music, um, I don't think it's like this with their new music because I have listened to it. I think that their music was kind of over edited because like seeing them live is a completely different experience than listening to it, um, listening to their music on like their first couple albums. So if you get the chance, I mean, tickets were not at all expensive. I definitely recommend going to see them if you, like, even like them some. Because <laughs> I think our tickets were, like, 30 bucks each. So, it's not a lot to lose. <laughs> but, anyway, on Saturday, I did sleep in, like, really, really late. Um, I took a shower and got ready because my husband and I were kind of doing like a date day for Valentine's Day this day. So um, we did go to a local place to get pho. It was okay. Um, it's the only place we have here like other than traveling to St. Louis to get it. But it's definitely not as good as the places I went to in Kansas City. So um, like it works but it was really slow and the food just wasn't quite as good. So it's really hard moving from like living in a city where you have access to so many different options for every kind of cuisine to moving somewhere rural where it's just like, well, we have one Vietnamese restaurant and that's it. Like I'm glad we have one even, but it's just kind of a shift for me that I'm still getting used to. But we did come back home after that because we kind of had it as a late lunch and then we went to see Lisa Frankenstein which was really weird um I liked it but it was just really weird so critically I think it's been doing really bad like in the media but I mean we we thought it was fun it's just I think that the way it was marketed people were thinking it was like a horror comedy and it's really more just like a dark comedy that happens to have murder. So if you go into it like knowing that 
it's mainly just a dark comedy, but with, you know, some violence, then you won't be like thrown off as much. And then this evening I did watch more ghosts film and plan. So for the stickers this day, uh, that's from the Coffee Monsters Co. The Foil Bundle, Carly Plans, uh, Pink Diamond Planner Co., Leonard Designs, Hazel Sticker, Foil Bundle, I believe that's Miscellany Boulevard, but it's really, really old, so I don't know if that's still sold in shop. Um, Carly Plans, Mick Plans, and the Foil Bundle. Sunday I had breakfast or it was really more brunch because I slept in again. Um, I was just really struggling get, to get out of bed, which I kind of came to the conclusion that um, like my psychiatrist and I had decided that I was going to basically taper off of one of my medications. And he told me that if I was having like specific stuff happen, it felt like it was like actually maybe working more than we thought it had been. I could go back up to my normal dosage and from like all the sleep issues and the way I'd been having like tons of mood swings, I realized that I needed to just go back up on the dosage. So I did that this day and then I did some laundry this morning. I printed and cut a bunch of stickers which I was really enjoying. Like I know it probably gets tedious doing it as a shop owner but it was really cool to like actually be able to do it for myself. I was like printing and cutting some kits and some icons. Um, this is actually one that I did print and cut. So that's exciting. <laughs> and then I folded the clothes once they were done, which for us is quite an accomplishment because typically what happens is like we will like do laundry and then we'll fold the clothes like on another day they're usually separate tasks in our house so I was really proud of myself because I folded the clothes that had already been in the dryer and then I folded two more loads the ones I did that day so I felt really proud <laughs> and then I did some planning we watched more Ted Lasso which my husband's trying to get us not to like binge it all at once, but I really just want to watch it all and then rewatch it. But he wants to like savor it, which I get, but like also <laughs> I don't want to wait. I'm impatient. So then I watched more of Ghosts. I actually did finish it this night. <laughs> like I, there's like, there's two seasons that are completely out. And then the third season, there's only one episode because it just started like airing so every week I will be like watching a new episode but I was really kind of annoyed because I wanted to just keep watching <laughs> so then I did some filming I did film a plan with me this evening and then with that I was officially caught up on planning which is so exciting to me I cannot properly express how excited I am like I've been behind for so long that it just it was stressing me out <laughs> so for the stickers this day uh, that is from Carly Plans the foil bundle Leonard Designs and Mick Plans that is from Carly Plans Mick Plans uh, Carly Plans but I printed it Carly Plans and Andy Designs Co so I'm just going to stop, write something in, and then I'll be back to show you the finished spread. Okay, this is my spread in full. I feel like I've been saying this every week this month, but I'm just super happy with how it turned out. So I picked some really fun foil combos for February. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!